Hello, hello! My name's Claire. You might recognize me from Instagram or TikTok. Today, we're back on the YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss all my fun posts. It's fun over here, I promise. Today, we have, as per usual, a giant <laughs> haul because I have a shopping problem. Anyway, some of this is gifted. Some of it, I bought, most of it, actually, I bought with my own money, including these giant designer bags back here, which we'll get into. This is a message to editing Claire. Make sure you put in timestamps in the, the screen right here so people know if they're looking for a specific brand where to find it. Okay, you're welcome guys. I think we'll do designer labs. Ooh, sorry. Also, if you hear sounds, apologies, it's my puppy, who we know and love on this channel, but he does tend to make noises when I'm filming. We're gonna go ahead and get started with Revice. A denim brand, but they do a couple other things. If you remember from my last video, which will pop up on the screen here, my other summer haul, that one, they sent me all two small sizes. Well, my normal size, but there was no room in the quads butt area at all. So if you have anything happening, any junk in the trunk, size up a few sizes. I'm usually like a 24 in jeans, and in their jeans, I'm like, a 27 I think that's what we're trying this time what I have for you today is bigger sizes hopefully it fits we'll see in the try-on part first okay I didn't pick these out my lovely friends are a revise did for me and I don't know how much all these pieces are my style however we're gonna try and make it work and if we don't love it we'll give it back I donate a lot of stuff but I think for them like I have to return it in exchange for something else first pair of shorts we have are these camo shorts they're on the longer side which my friends always make fun of me for I love a long short love it However, a camo, I don't know. This is called the Boyfriend Short in Oakland. It's a size 26. It definitely looks like it should be big enough, but like I said, no stretch in the butt area. So hopefully this fits okay. Next, we have a pair of light wash denim. If you know me, I'm a fiend for light wash denim. That's my favorite go-to wash. This pair in particular has an asymmetric hem, which is super cute. Not that I don't like an asymmetric hem, but more that it feels overdone. Like it's giving quarantine. I used to like buy all my pants asymmetric and like get those buttons on Amazon to make them asymmetric. If you know, you know. But I don't know how into it I am now. If these are a great fit though, that'll easily sway me. These are the 90s Baby Joey Wash, size 27. Asymmetric hem pretty basic otherwise no rips just like a solid pair of jeans stitched hem no frame but yeah here's the wash up close there it goes okay and then lastly i love this pair but they sent over a size medium and this just looks huge to me it's like the same size as my like shoulder width i don't know if it'll fit but there's also this adjustable string detailing so you can like tighten it on the waist so it could be that really big parachute pant like where they're supposed to look really oversized on you and you just cinch it around like the waist hip area so this has potential it's just they look huge like look how wide this is this is literally as wide as me like, it's crazy and then the ankle area also has that same little like rope where you can like tighten it so you could do like the big flare of it or you can cinch it around your ankle and this style is not written on the tag so i don't know what it's called i'll go ahead and put like website screenshots of everything i can for you so that you can the details from that next we'll go ahead and move into lululemon the thing with me and lululemon is i don't love a lot of what i get from lululemon there are a couple pieces i like which you've seen in previous hauls but it's hit or miss for me now but i keep going back i remember when i was in like high school working my minimum wage job and i couldn't dream of having lululemon like couldn't imagine now that i'm adulting and i can afford to buy myself those things i almost feel more intrigued to just try it out just because i can i don't know it's stupid but anyways i wanted to get the define jacket which is the bbl effect jacket that you see all over your tiktok but they had a cropped version too so i went ahead and bought the long normal version as well as the crop version and you guys need to comment down below and let me know which one you like most because i need to return one of them i'm not going to keep both but i literally can't decide which length i like more the cropped one is called the nulu crop define jacket i got it in black in a size two i don't know the pricing on it i'm sure it's insanely expensive because most of the lemon is but yeah it's just like this black crop zip up jacket and then we have the full length version and the full length has a hood as well, which is intriguing to me. I love a hood. That's what this one is. And it's called the hooded defined jacket in Nulu, black size two also, slim fit hip length. They have thumb holes, both of these do. And yeah, so we'll see which one we like more. Or well, I've tried them on. I can't decide. You tell me which one we like more. Next, I have two pairs of sweats from Aviator Nation, but I only have one with me. The other in, are in the wash right now. So I'll go ahead and put up a picture of them here. I said, treat myself and try them out. They have a store location in Venice that I went to. They're insanely expensive, $148. These are the Smiley 2 Women's Sweatpants. 
in black and I got them in an XL because I love a giant sweatpants. So these are them. They just got smiley faces up one leg. They can cinch in at the waist, super baggy, very oversized on me. And I love how thin and breathable they are. Like they're the perfect sweatpant for the beach. I've already worn my other pair to the beach a few times. If like you want to splurge and get yourself a nice pair of sweats, especially like a summer sweat moment, these are amazing. Next, we'll go ahead and move into Young LA because I've so much Young LA stuff. If you missed the announcements that have happened over across TikTok and Instagram, I am now a Young LA athlete. I'm not exclusive with them, so I still work with my other activewear brands. And so to be affiliated with them is just like a huge moment for me and I'm super excited about it. But anyways, so I'm now working with Young LA and I'm super excited about it. I'm wearing a pair of sweats that actually dropped today, the day I'm filming, and they're already out of stock. They sold out in 10 minutes. It's crazy because they're so freaking cute. Maybe they'll restock again, and at least you can get like an idea of the fit and that kind of thing. But the reason I was also excited to work with Young LA is that they're coming out with Young LA for her. So I have a couple men's items that I wear in a men's small, and then I also have a couple of their women's items that haven't released, but they'll be releasing in August. The other thing I want to mention is you can use code Claire to support me at checkout, and then it also gets you 15% off. So first we have so many of these cute little tops they came out with for women like I said they'll drop in August and I will be super active about that on my Instagram and TikTok for you guys to see that it is these super cute little sports bras they're very seamless flush to the skin flattering on even if you're not as gifted like I am I'm not gifted but they're also low cut in the back just a little bit to show off the gains which you know we love here as an outfit like so cute and these young lady tops are like super supportive also really flattering on the chest I feel like and the branding is so low key and like the there's no like seaming or like really sporty look to it unless you're like styling it like with athletic shorts so you could totally do this as an outfit like these can be like staples in your closet like inside and outside the gym which i love that versatility a better bang for your buck like this right here mm. i love how the logoing is nondescript not in your face it's not like throwing the brand at you it's monochromatic to whatever color you get so super cute i got an extra small on all these i grabbed it in black as well as this pretty cream color and an extra small too and then we have a nice brown color we love our neutrals here and then also this like pinky it's ever so slightly pink mauve grayish color that's what this one is really showing up okay and if not in the try on it will so those are the tops um or all the sports bras from the women's line i have one of the tops coming out this is also coming in a couple other colors i just have black though it is an extra small tank top it's on the higher neck side it's got this little cutout which is gonna be way easier to see in the try on to like show off top of the abs a little bit under boob perhaps cottony fabric on the thicker side so you don't need to wear a bra with it not that i wear a bra anyways but if you did you should be okay as far as like it not being see through that kind of thing on the thicker side next from the women's line we have a pair of sweat shorts just have one of these also got this in an extra small i believe yeah i don't know the name of them because they haven't come out yet they're these little shorts they've just got like a cinchable waist i would guess a two and a half inch inseam it's on the shorter side for sure it's very reminiscent of like a lululemon sweat short um, again, nondescript with the branding. I don't even know where the branding is on this pair. There's like a little young eye on the back back here. But like I said, monochromatic to the fabric. So it's not like in your face young eye. And then I have two pairs of sweatpants from the women's collection too. These are also very simple. Big, thick, like cinch since you in waist a little young la logo right here and then like this young la logoing on the calf as well just cinches at the bottom your normal sweat definitely a baggier fit because i got a small on these and they're like big on me which i love i love a big sweatpant like we know that's this one and then they also come in a few other colors one of the other ones i have is cream sorry about my dog <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of getting washed on camera, but I think I'm gonna try and be able to see it a little bit better. This is them, just a basic cream sweatpant. That is all the women's stuff that is coming out. As far as men's items, I have more sweatpants as per usual. If you know me, I'm always in sweats or activewear for the most part, so you know, the more the merrier. These are, I'm gonna have to pop up the name on the screen because I'm honestly not that sure. But they're a pair of sweats that are like not fleece lined. Yeah, there you go. They're not fleece lined. They're just like very thin, breathable, oversized. I got these in a men's small and cream, but like they're supposed to have a really baggy loose fit. They're like a pump cover sweatpants. So you can like wear shorts under it when you're hitting legs and you're warming up. The bottom is just cinched too. You can tie the waist as well. They just have a little logo on the back. Young LA patch if we can. Then I got a pair of their pajama pants. These are a super thin, soft, very reminiscent of my, my skims pants that you've seen. I'll pop up the haul for you here, but like 
just that really soft, super stretchy and cottony fabric. Great to sleep in, as the name suggests, since they're like pajama pants. Um, got these in a men's small too, all black. Tie, cinchable waist, and then just loose, slowly at the ankles. Another pair of black pants. These are the gin and juice sweats in black. Wash, I think, because they're like a bit of a wash fabric rather than like a solid black, which I actually like a little bit more. These are also in a men's small, 100% cotton on the thicker side with a little bit of terry cloth on the inside. So it's not that really soft fleece. It's a bit more rough, but it's better for if you want to work out in it because it won't get so hot and sweaty. Um, and then there's the Young LA logo right here and a little bit of phrasing on the calf too. And then just like your normal cuff jogger at the bottom. Also have sweatpants I'm wearing now in brown. These are the Immortal joggers, size small also. Really cool detailing on the leg here in like a creamish color. And yeah, super cute. Little pocket on the back with a flower on it. These ones are on the fleecier side. So if you're looking for a soft sweatpant, this is like a good go-to for that. And then just your basic cinching on the bottom here. Last pair of sweatpants, I promise, are these um, pink color, like a, I don't know, like a blush pink, a light pink sweatpant. They also are adjustable in the waist here. They've got like this plastic little Young LA, or like not plastic, rubber little Young LA like decal in the pocket. And then there's also front pockets on them, cinching again on the ankle, and then it says Los Angeles Young LA on the shin calf region. Then we've got a hoodie from Young LA too. This one is a pretty like pastelish pinky purple color. Young LA right on the front. Super big hoods. I love how big the hoods are at Young LA. Like I like when they cover your head. If I'm wearing a hood to the or hoodie to the gym, I want my hood to cover me and I don't want anyone to talk to me. So this is the, the perfect hood for that. It's got this cool like rope detailing for the strings. And then I sized up a lot in this, I know. Yeah, I got an extra large. So it's like a dress on me, but I love that because it's super comfy. And then this is the same as those other joggers where it's like that terry cloth fabric. Then I picked up the men's boxers. They're great for guys, obviously, but like as a girl in a size small, they're like the perfect little sleep shorts for me. These are them, navy little silver like band on them. They say Young LA on the front and then a little patch Young LA on the back. Got them in gray and then there's another color that comes in the three pack too. And they're super soft, super stretchy, comfy, breathable, ideal sleep short. Yeah, got them in black too. Then the last thing I believe, yes, that I have from Young LA is a new lifting belt. Got a size extra small in black. I love how the logoing is flush and monochromatic to the belt so it's not too branded. The belt comes in this little Young LA pouch too. Next, we'll move into shoes. I saw these at Vision Studios and I'll go ahead and pop up their like name about the Topanga Mall. Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG in white court purple. That's what they're called. They're USA size 7. I love them because they're mostly neutral because I love a white shoe but then they just have a little bit of detailing in another color. Glossy kind of metallic-y purple too and then they got purple soles also so I love these. If you're looking for a Jordan the all white with a little bit of detailing super cute. As we know I'm a huge sweats sweatshirt gal. I bought a bunch of essential sweatshirts when they dropped in PacSun. Um, essentials is like the fear of God line that's a little bit on the cheaper side. I mean, it's not cheap. They're like $100 a piece. For like fear of God, which is a designer brand, it's like cheaper than what their normal stuff is. I always get my sweatshirts huge because I love to be just swallowed by them. Just as essentials fear of God and like a felty kind of fabric. But yeah, this one's an XL and it's got this little rubber decal on the hood. I also got a knit hoodie, but I left it in the car and I could not be bothered to go get it. But I'll pop up a picture of it here. I love their knit stuff. It's a little bit more pricey, but I love them. They're so soft. I feel like a blanket on you because they're really weighted and knit and then I also got the same exact sweatshirt as the last one but this one is in a heather white gray and then it also says essentials on the back so that's the difference between the both of those this one I got in extra large $90 and then the color is light oatmeal so yeah super cute I love that the sweatshirts don't cinch too much at the bottom I have a couple more sweatshirts I bought that we will be unboxing together so I I saw this brand on like TikTok first. It's called Lonely Ghost. This one just says Lonely Ghost and it's got a little ghost icon on it. It's brown with pink on it, which is super cute. I don't have anything like this. And then the back says, text me at home, like I was saying. So super cute. I love brown and pink together. Like it's just, it reminds me of like the early 2000s and I love it. I got this one in an extra large, an oversized fit. This is your really basic fleece lined on the thinner side, like your Hanes normal sweatshirt. If you're buying this, you're buying it because you like the print, the branding, whatever. It's like essentials 
this is really nice thick good quality and you can like feel the quality in it this is just like a normal ass sweatshirt if you just like the branding on it so on the more expensive side i did buy these on sale because i bought them on the fourth of july i don't have a lot of crew necks because they're not really typically my thing but i saw this one in the hoodie version i really wanted it out of stock so i just went ahead and got the crew neck version this one's in a large text me when you get lonely is what it says and then it's got some writing on the sleeves here it is it says lonely ghost i love when there's writing on the sleeves so cute and then the back says text me when you get lonely and this is just green with like cream detailing so cute like i said i love a sweatshirt i love how i'm gonna title this like summer collective haul and it's literally gonna be like sweaters and hoodies like come on this is the last one from there it's in an extra large also i was obsessed with this phrasing when i saw it because i am so the person i love listening to oldies and whenever i like listen to a song and like am feeling the lyrics i always think of someone and then i send it to them and this sweatshirt says this song reminds me of you which is just too cute like it just feels really me and then the back is adorable so i had to get it it says different ways to say love you because people i love i text things like that so yeah and then it's got a bunch of little phrases on the back as well but yeah this one's super cute i love it it's a cream color with purple detailing okay we'll do zara next i haven't tried any of these on either so we'll see if we like them in the try on and i'll be returning whatever i don't like from them oh shoot they don't have names on this i always you guys know i'm really just about putting screenshots up of what i'm talking about so you can find them yourself zara is so hard to find stuff on the website so i will try my best for you because they don't have names on here so it's gonna be difficult to find stuff it's an extra small it's 59.90 a bit more on the expensive side and now that i'm looking at it like i saw these silk dresses all over my tiktok and they were so cute and they didn't have any other colors besides white it's giving a little bit like wedding vibes it's giving like i'm on a honeymoon and i'm single so like that's not really like effective towards any message i'm trying to put out there but um yeah it's cute so we'll see how it looks on but it's got this little like under boob detailing thing it's not wired it's just stitched on but that's super cute and then we have a little bit of an open back which you know we love here because we're workout queens and we want to show off the back gains so we love that um it's got like adjustability or no no adjustability just a little clasp closure in the back over here and then a cutout and then it goes into the rest of the dress and then i have this one which is so complex i don't even know if i'll be able to figure out how to put this on but it is a bunch of cutouts all over it it's another long white dress in like a silky fabric except this one is like very prone to like wrinkles clearly like it is so wrinkled it's got this little slit in it it's impossible to explain with all these straps and cutouts i literally don't even know how to put it on so we'll see it and try and what we think and the price this was again 59.90 this is the next dress i got and it is an extra small 45.90 it's another satiny fabric and this one's just shorter and green so that's the main difference um let me untangle this tag so we can like actually see what it looks like oh my goodness okay here it is it's got a little cutout in the front super dainty and delicate if we like the length on it this would definitely be a keep because once again this one also has an open back on it with a bunch of strappy detailing and then it just drops below into like the rest the fabric super cute so yeah we'll see if we think of it on the straps are adjustable which is nice it has a zipper closure on the side that's that one last stuff i picked up is some shorts shorts are so hit or miss for me i have like two solid pairs of denim shorts and that's it but we'll see how these ones fit they were 39.90 i got them in a size 36 which is a us4 um they're high rise and yeah this is them a little bit of rip detailing in the back and then more distressing in the front yes yeah, so hopefully they fit love a distressed bottom because i don't like the hem on the bottom it just i don't know why but it cringes me out i like a distressed hem so cute hopefully these fit i have no idea though we never know with denim shorts then I grabbed these ones, which look, I think I got them in a, yeah, I got them in a four also, but they look a lot bigger. Maybe they'll have more luck then. They say denim summer edition, the new mid-rise Bermuda split. Oh, there's like a little split on the side. So yeah, cute. I got them in a four, like I said, they were $45.90 as well. Distress hemming, but then no distressing on the fabric itself. Minus a pocket is missing right here. And there's one right there. So yeah, hopefully these fit. We'll see in the try on cute nonetheless though okay next i have one item from h&m they're these little beach cover-up pants just because i wanted a pair really bad and these were super cheap but i didn't want to make an investment into like a really nice pair of beach cover-up pants because i don't know how long that style is gonna be around and also when i go to the beach i wreck everything like i just i'm the kind of person to, like dive in the ocean roll around in the sand whatever so yeah these are an extra extra small 17.99 from the divided line at h&m they're this like bubble dot knit sort of fabric i don't know if we're picking that up here but yeah it's in this beige color and then um they have a liner on the inside and i haven't cut it out yet but that's what i bought them with the intention of doing because the liner is like eh, no i'd rather just show my swimsuit underneath next we'll do princess polly i got another pair of my absolute favorite pants they're inside out because i just wore them the other day and my absolute favorite pants i have these in black i wear them 
all the time. Every time I post in them, people are like, where are they from? Where are they from? They are Princess Polly. They are, got them in a size zero. They're the pinstripe dress pants. I'm blanking on the style name, but I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen as per usual. Super cute. They're very like thicker girl friendly. Like they'll definitely fit like bigger butt and quads and that kind of thing. Cause they're so flowy and loose, but then they cinch you in really nicely at the waist. Lastly, we have swimwear. I wasn't gonna include swimmer in this one because I always do swimsuit hauls, but every time I've posted one of these swimsuits, everyone's like, where are they from? We need the details. Okay, we'll go ahead and try them all on to show you guys, but. We're gonna go and start with one one swim because that's where most of this is from, except for one. It's a little tie side, super cute. And then the top has some versatility to it because it's a clasp in the back, but then these strings kind of can be tied any way you want. I wore it as like a basic triangle top, which I really like. You can also like tie in the front in a little bow do a little cross action in the front but yeah a lot of versatility with this style option we can't go wrong with a cute purple like yeah great fit super cute next i have this gradient ombre moment um this style i'm not quite as obsessed with the bottoms i've tried them on already and i didn't love them but i do love the ombre look super cute all of this stuff is in an extra small by the way these have a cinch back and then just normal in the front then the top i got is this fun one this you could totally if you bought this as a swimsuit top you could totally wear this with a pair of shorts it's the same ombre print and it's so hard to hold up and show you and i feel like it's getting washed out on camera but hopefully in the try it looks a little better this one i've already taken instagram pictures in but i haven't posted them yet um but it's this super cute little floral moment unless you get the extra coverage like style it's definitely still on the smaller cheeky side it's just like a balconette style top adjustable in the straps as well as tie on the band i love this suit it's so vintage so retro love it it's got this wavy checkered print with a little flower detailing on it too super cute little hoops on the side and then definitely cheek in the back these aren't really thongs but they're definitely cheeky and they kind of like ride up into a thong um and then i love the top with it not ideal for tan lines but it is so cute more coverage too which is nice next i have another little ombre moment okay wait this is the jesse bottom normally and then these ombre ones are like a little bit different so i don't know what style this is called actually but there's this little ombre like sunsetty colors super cute bottom similar to jesse but maybe a little bit more higher waisted and high cut and then the top is an adorable string top the string Strings are incredibly long. So if you like doing that wrap around your waist type of thing, this is a great style to go with. Then we have the Jessie style I love here. I believe the top is called the Cameron top. And then this is the Jessie bottom, but I'll put screenshots up to be sure. This is my actual favorite style from one one. Um, these are just a cute cream set. Cinches you in on the waist super nicely. If you can see the stitching detail there. And then just goes right over the glutes in like this kind of effect. And it's just super flattering. So very cute. This top as well is super flattering, super cute. It's got the same like banded detail around the cups as well to match the bottoms. Super supportive, holds you in great, really comfy, really flattering. Cannot recommend this enough. It's on the more expensive side, but if you're gonna pick up anything from one one, I always tell people this is the set to go with. Then I have this blue set, and the bottoms are the same as the ones we saw earlier. Just a little cinch, just different like adjustable coverage, and then it's got like a double strap on it too. The top, however, I cannot figure out how to put on. Like I saw it on the model, and it's supposed to clasp in the back with the double straps to match the bottom, and then tie around your neck. But I couldn't get the coverage to like work over my chest. Hopefully, when I try it on today, I can figure it out for future reference. The last piece I have from one one is this this is similar to that jesse bottom i like but a little bit different i really love it you can also get this same style in like different colors if you want something a little bit more low-key this is like fluorescent i don't know if the camera's picking it up and doing it justice but it is bright as fuck the top is just like that straight ac across like bandeau style almost with some straps too and they're adjustable as well the last swimsuit i have is this is from the brand adika it was super affordable it's this like nude color but then it's got a white mesh overlay with these little hearts on it so cute and delicate i don't know if this is gonna fit me it feels really tight but like we'll see when i put it on very small coverage and then just your basic string top to go with same concept as the bottoms adjustable to your liking yeah that's that okay the actual last item we have is dior i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this for you guys now i'm like we have an audience for this one. Ryan's sitting behind the camera to watch me unbox because he doesn't know what I got yet, right? No, you haven't shown me. I kind of explained it, but I didn't show you yet. Yeah, but I haven't seen it. And so, anyways, I don't know. I feel like I need an audience because it's really expensive. So. Both of these things cost less than my first designer bag, which is Chanel. So, this is the first 
bag. It's super overexposed, but they came with these little gold dangly things. You can like decorate a Christmas tree with it. It's metal. Fun. Okay, trying to make it worth money. LOL. <laughs> okay, and then the box is the same as the bag. White. Aim smart. No people like. Cute. Dust bag on the top. I really wanted something to wear when I'm on vacation and you're like walking through sand and the last thing you want when you're going out to dinner is like a heel that's just gonna like sink into it. So I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to a nicer flat shoe that I can wear with dresses and stuff on vacation. Would look cute with jeans too. So this is an investment piece. I'm gonna be careful because I've always sworn off designer shoes because why would you spend so much money on something you can wear the sole off of? But the quality is insane on these and like, I don't know. Hopefully it turns out to be worth it. If not, lesson learned. They're sick. They're oh so my god. I didn't, I didn't want to interrupt, but those are so sick. Thanks. They're like black leather on the bottom and then they just do have the black and white Christian Dior. And I got I them like in a the 36 and a half. The next one is like beautiful packaging, which rightfully so because it was 3,000 something. It's got these little Dior ribbons on it. The lady when she was cutting the ribbon was struggling so much with the scissors and we were just like awkwardly standing there like. Here's the box. It's got the same texture look as the bag. And this one has a bow on it too. So it feels like Christmas to me. This is a gift to me for no reason. Exciting! Okay, I love this in store and I've kind of been having second thoughts on it. You guys let me know what you think. Because they had an all black version too and I was like, should I get something neutral that goes with everything? But then I have a couple neutral bags so I was like, I love color and I always wear color. So, anyways, I'll shut up and show you. Comes in a dust bag as well. Prince is joining the party. Good boy. This is the saddle bag and I got the bigger one because I didn't want to regret not being able to store everything in it because I've gotten my like Chanel bag I was talking about, I got it way too small. And so I went for the bigger one. I thought like the gold detailing, if you guys know me, I only wear gold. So I have to get a bag of gold hardware. I never get anything in silver hardware. Um, I love blue. Blue and pink are my favorite colors. I already have a pink bag, I don't have a blue one. So I was looking at a Louis Vuitton blue bag too. But I actually wanted the Dior tote bag, and I'll pop a picture of it here, because I love the canvasy look of it. I didn't know the saddle bag came in that, so I was like, this is like what I want. I wanted a saddle bag in black, and I wanted that tote bag in that print. Didn't know it cross collab, so that's what I got. I'll take off the wrapping so you guys can see the whole thing. But yeah, it's got this little Dior Dior logo that's thing. That's so sick. And it like, it just looks so good on the shoulder. Right? Yeah, I don't know why you're having second thoughts. I like it. No, I like it more now that I saw <laughs> it. I was just kind of, I didn't know if I loved all the logoing everywhere. No, I like it. It's a cool piece. Like, it's a style piece. It's not like a neutral, yeah. like, low-key piece. I just hope it's not too trendy. I worry about, I don't know, being too trendy. But it's so cute, and I just feel like it looks vintage kind of with like the canvasy fabric. So my thought was like, It'll feel timeless because I don't want to get designer bags that don't feel timeless unless they're on sale. Like my off white one, my neon pink one. That one was on sale, so it felt okay to get it. Audience approves big time. I like it. Really? Yeah, that's probably my favorite bag of yours. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Anyways, I'm going to try all of this shit on. It's going to take me 300 years. It's going to take forever. So you better subscribe and like the video if you enjoy. And comment down below on the pieces I asked for opinions on. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into trying this all on. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.